The Wolf and the Lamb One day, deep in the woods, a hare was seated, thinking of how to safeguard itself from the wild animals of the forest. It saw Goo Goo passing by and stopped it to ask how it could achieve this task. As much as Goo Goo wanted to help, it also wanted to be honest and so told the hare that the unjust will not listen to the reasoning of the innocent. As the hare did not understand what Goo Goo was saying so, it explained the fact with a story. One early morning, a stray lamb who was just a couple of months old stood drinking water on the bank of a woodland stream. As it was drinking water, a very hungry wolf came by, farther up the stream, looking for something delicious to eat. He soon set his eyes on the lamb. As a rule, the wolf snapped up such delicious morsels without making any bones about it. But this lamb looked rather helpless and innocent that the wolf felt he ought to have some kind of an excuse for taking away its life. So it shouted fiercely that the lamb deserved to be punished severely for its disrespect. But the lamb, trembling in fear, asked what wrong it had done. The wolf shouted fiercely that it had been dare enough to paddle around his stream and stir up all the mud. The lamb, still nervous, pleaded with the wolf to not be angry with it and asked how it could possibly pollute the water which the wolf was drinking as the wolf was upstream and the lamb was downstream. The wolf savagely replied that it was polluting it and also added that it had heard the lamb having told lies about the wolf the previous year. The lamb begged to differ as it said that it could not have done so as it was only born this year. The wolf was in no mood to be listening to excuses and said that if it wasn't you, it must have been your brother. The lamb replied that it had no brothers. The wolf snarled, well then, if it wasn't you, then it must have been someone else in your family. But anyways, no matter who it was, I do not intend to be talked out of my breakfast. So saying it, it did not listen to another word and instead seized the poor lamb and devoured her. Goo Goo concluded by saying that it is better to go with the flow of life rather than worrying about things nothing could be done about. 